Happy Thursday, people. I am headed into work. It's kind of like a normal day. These are the days where I feel like I don't really have anything interesting to say, like why should I vlog today? But a few exciting things are happening today. So first, um, I am going over to Zach's house after school, after the normal work day, to watch him fly his drone. So uh, his wife was really lucky and won a Mavic Pro at a conference that she went to, which is crazy, because like as teachers, we're like, yay, we got pencils and free notepads uh, when we go to conferences, and she happened to win a drone, which is awesome, uh, and I'm totally gonna live vicariously through Zach uh, and watch him fly his drone, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, I need to get a run in tonight, so normal Thursday, Tuesday's my rest day, so I've gotta get a run in tonight. Also, um, I ordered myself a camera and I have been like looking at and excited about buying a camera. Coaching season is officially over. We went to States this past Saturday. I've bought myself with my coaching stipend a really nice camera and I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping that it's going to make uh, these vlogs a bit better, add a different element to these vlogs. Um, and so that is supposed to be arriving today. So um, I'm really excited about getting my camera today. We've got this like, man, just like an amazing sunrise this morning. That's like one thing I love about driving in in the fall is that we just have like beautiful, beautiful sunrises. Follow me along for the ride. Drop me a comment. Hit the like and subscribe button for me, please. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers because when you get to 100 subscribers and 10,000 views, uh, you can create a custom URL for your YouTube channel. So that's what I'm working toward. Uh, I would love to be there by like the end of the year now. I don't know if that's going to happen, but um, that's what I'm working for. It's like some goal, some measurable, attainable goal that I think is maybe realistic. So um, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, give me some, some feedback in the comments. You know, just your average day where a Lambo pulls up in Christiansburg. So I got home tonight. Uh, sadly, this was on my door, which meant that the package that I was hoping to get that has my new camera is not being delivered today because I wasn't here and apparently I have to sign for it. So my awesome mother-in-law, thank you, Cindy, is staying here tomorrow morning to sign for the package. So hopefully I'll have it tomorrow and in time for next week and Thanksgiving. I am headed out for a run. I'm going to go to Runabout Sports and they have two new flavors i've been waiting i actually looked last night when i was in there for them to have a marshmallow flavor and then a s'mores flavor so uh yes and i'm on my way all right i run about about to pick up some goose not too bad like 2.2 down here so pretty easy run we'll see who's here tonight maybe steven maybe george so these are the new Toast and marshmallow! But apparently the marshmallow fluff. Bitch. Goose acquired. I am gonna try the toasted marshmallow right now. There's like no reason. I have like two miles to run back home, but I just like wanna try it. So I think I'm going to. That's amazing. It really tastes like marshmallow fluff. Mm. Totally, totally worth the five mile run tonight. Um, so I bought eight goose, which means I just ate one, so I have seven left. Try to get another two and a half miles and make it an even five. This is my haul. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use this this weekend. The toasted marshmallow was is amazing. Um, this may be like the Hellgate goo of choice. Um, the campfire s'mores. Well, that'll be decided 
this weekend. Um, so this one had, does not have caffeine and uh, the toasted marshmallow also doesn't have caffeine. Now, usually I do use goose that have caffeine. So um, these might be good like early race uh, goose and then maybe switching over to something that has caffeine. Um, I think the salted caramel has caffeine. So it just kind of depends on how much my stomach can handle. On the night, uh, 5.6 miles. So I think like it's important to think about why did I do this tonight? Like why did I make this? Um, I came home and I was like, I don't want to run. I just want to sit down and like walk the dog. And I was like, I just don't know if I'm going to run tonight. I looked on Facebook and I saw that Runabout had posted that they had these in. And I was like, all right, that's motivation to, to get out the door. And then I went and watched some I Run Far interviews with like Zach Miller and Dylan Bowman. And uh, I, they were like talking about like running four to six hours a day. And I was like, yeah, I can probably manage 50 minutes and, and go out and get run in. So um, yeah, that's kind of like why I did this today. I don't know that I have a ton to share every day. There's something right now for me that I'm like being drawn to doing this and creating. And I think it's like pushing me to be creative. Like every day that I do this, I think more and more creatively, I think about like something that I'm inspired to do or projects that I'm inspired to make. Um, and that's not like something that happened before I did this. So. Um, I've got some really cool ideas. Uh, I think I've got some exciting stuff coming out. I think it's going to all happen like at the start of next year. So that's kind of like my plan. I had originally talked about a lot of the stuff like earlier this summer, but then just kind of got detoured with cross country and, uh, overwhelmed by that. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, get some chocolate milk back at it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to do something easy, and then um, Saturday morning, up early, drive to Finn Castle, get to the start of Hellgate, um, and run like the first 30 miles with Chris and Danny and Jordan, and uh, just have a nice day in the woods. Uh, in any case, nobody told you today, you're awesome.